Emmanuel, you know, so second summer league for you, you seem like you were a lot more comfortable kind of just with the whole process. I mean, that, that's kind of like what you're supposed to get, you know, out of a second-year player, third-year guy. You're supposed to feel more comfortable, especially with the amount of minutes I got last year. So definitely grateful to, you know, be able to just work on my game again out here. So that, that was my main thing, just coming out here and trying to, you know, show showcase what I've been doing in the offseason. Yeah, Chris Dunn kind of came at you guys a little bit, mm -hmm. but it seemed like that was fun for you. You guys yeah. were going back and forth a little bit. I know, definitely fun. I, I played Chris, you know, when I was a freshman. He was a, a junior, I think. You know, he's like two years older than me, so it's always competitive playing him again because uh, I remember the, the past, the history. They got us, they beat us one time, so I really wanted to beat him this time. For you, what do you feel like you need to do out here? I mean, obviously, you put in a lot of work during the regular season. So what is summer league for you? And clearly, you've been working on some stuff in the offseason. What are you doing out here this week? Just trying to be a better leader. Uh, you know, the, the Denver Nuggets organization has been uh, really telling me, you know, it, it's, uh, it's time for me to push the team, you know, try to get us over that hump. It's been like three years since we haven't made the playoffs. So as young as I am, I don't want to use that as an excuse, but I really do got to become a better leader. As a young guy, is it tough to kind of lead and kind of, you know, especially with some of the guys on your team that are so much older? Uh, not not no more because, uh, you know, after the first year, they, they kind of, towards the end of the year, they started kind of pushing me to be that person. Now it's, it's kind of easier to, you know, they listen to me and stuff like that. You have Gary out here with you, and you guys seem like you're having a lot of fun together. Is it important to kind of bond a little bit with some of these guys, especially the newer guys that are coming yeah, to the me, team? Me and Gary are real, real good friends, especially off the court. Uh, so we keep in touch even during the offseason. So uh, I guess that kind of leads over to the game. We know exactly what we're trying to do and what we're going to do.